and welcome back to my channel or should I say welcome back to the Kamele Buu. Today we're going to explore this whole living history town together. It is from the 18th century, the 1927s and the 1970s. Let's go! But before we dive in, here is a little backstory. Founded in 1909, Dengamlebu is a living history city where all buildings from all over Denmark are collected. They are torn down brick for brick and built up again here to preserve them. It's a place to explore, as you never know which door is open and what lies behind the next garden. I went there twice in one week during my vacation. The first time I had only two hours. And I mean, look at this face. It's clear I needed more time to process it all. This house has rooms of multiple eras. Let's go! Time for a break! Let's try these pastries from recipes dating from before 1900. Old stable recipes, old stable goodness. And I couldn't help but to admire their costumes. And now I'm going to introduce you all to my favorite spot. First up, the tailor. Doesn't he look freakishly real? And then the hat maker. Look at this awesome apparatus that they use to measure your head for hats. Who would have thought? And then, of course, the apothecary. Did you know they have arsenic in the back? And last but not least, Mrs. Wallstrom's fashion store. The first time I went here, it was closed, so you can imagine how I felt. But when I went back, oh, gimme, gimme everything they have. And now we're going to one of the last houses, because you know, we've got to leave something to the imagination and for your discovery for when you might visit here. And this is one of the Baroque staircases in the Muntmaster's house. And you know what to say, if it's not Baroque, fix it. After that, it was time for a small break in the restaurant. After that, it was time to go to the jewelry exhibit, the poster exhibit, a 1974's gynecologist, a bicycle trader, The craftsmanships exhibit, the slightly creepy toy exhibit, and I explored many, many other areas they have. Like the souvenir shop, where I bought this amazing Christmas ornament, which is the tailor's sign. But uh, uh, just back to the video. 
And just like that, we're back in the 21st century. I can definitely recommend going to Den Gamle Bu anytime you might be able to visit Denmark. I just wanted to give them some unsponsored love because I haven't heard so much about them in the international spheres. So here goes. I've also visited some other places which we might consider some nice time traveling situations who can be found in Copenhagen, which is three and a half hours from Aarhus, where the Gamlebu is situated. I was wondering, because since I visited a lot of nice historical places where you feel like you're back in time, I might consider making a guide for visiting Denmark and a specific one for visiting Copenhagen. Would anyone be interested in that? Please leave a comment below if that seems like something you would like to read. And then I can post this on my website for free. And now it's time to head back to Copenhagen and see what they have in store for us. We're starting with Baken, which is sort of an amusement park, but the entrance is free. And they have a series in Denmark called Metzedor which is a very nationally beloved series about a town. In this series, you can see a couple of houses, of course, which are the decor and setting of the series. They recreated this in this amusement park, which is free to visit. So you can go there for free and walk into this small town, which is just like going back into the 1940s. The people working there in the shops and around the restaurants have period appropriate clothing on. And sometimes there are even actors walking around in really beautiful 1940s evening attire, which are absolutely gorgeous. There is a barber, the bank, uh, a lingerie boutique front. But the thing that caught my attention was Skjern's Family Magazine, or if you would say it probably in Danish, the Skjern's Familie Magazine, where you can buy uh, clothes. It feels like you're walking back in time. So if you're in the area of Copenhagen, have a car or a train ticket at your disposal, go there and enjoy this thing for free. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of different vloggy type of YouTube video of mine. It was my first time, so please be kind. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see the guides for maybe a Danish or a Copenhagen walkthrough of the places where it truly feels like you're traveling back in time, please let me know in the comments below. And with that, please like, favorite, subscribe, tell your neighbor, tell your cat uh, about my channel and help my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching again and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye!